Hey guys, uh, for number two, it looks like there's a little confusion because the uh, 13 that's there is pointing to the sort of the slanted height here, you know, from the top of the pyramid down to the side, but not in the center. Okay, the height of the pyramid is directly from the top of the pyramid straight down perpendicular to the base. So this right here is not actually the height of the pyramid itself, it's really just the height of the triangle that's on the side face here. So we really want this part, okay? Uh, so think of it like this. Hiding inside here, if you can see, I'll try to connect it. Do you see this right here? See these three sides now? You kind of have a right triangle hiding in here, don't you? Where this is a leg, this is the hypotenuse, and then the height of the pyramid is actually the other leg. So if, if the hypotenuse here is 13, we can figure out this leg, this leg right here, that's just got to be half of the 9.2. So it's basically this triangle, focus your eyes on this part. You've got 13 going along the side, right, going along the diagonal here. Straight up and down is the height of the actual prism, that's right here. And then this piece we don't have yet, but we know the whole thing is 9.2, so that means this part's got to be 4.6. And then now you can use your Pythagorean theorem to get the actual height of the pyramid itself. Okay, so be careful, this, this technically is called a slant height because it's slanted. It's not the height of the actual pyramid. Okay, so give that a shot and let me know how it goes.